Hi, welcome to the Den of Doom for a stretch session with Claire. That's me. Yes, I'm here today to go through some stretches with you. We're going to look at stretching our hips in particular, lower back and hamstrings. So if you'd like to join me, you may need a block. You will also need a tie. I'm using a nice dressing gown cord to help me with some of my stretches. So it all depends on your flexibility. Now, my most important thing I'm gonna to say to you here is you're going to stretch within yourself. Okay, what I mean is don't overstretch. Don't try and be super flexible when you're not. It should feel discomfort. It should feel tight. It should not feel painful. Okay, so let's get started. So if you need to sit on your block, place your block under your bottom and put your legs out to the side. Okay, so we're going to have them cross-legged and what we're going to do is we're just going to do some rotations. We need to focus on our breathing as we rotate. So we're going to breathe in and out. So you breathe in for half a stroke and out for half a stroke. So you take it round and out. I'm going to get rid of my block. So that's three. We'll go the other direction. Fantastic. First thing we're going to focus on is just leaning forwards into this stretch, placing your elbows on the floor or as close to the floor as you can. Mine don't go on the floor. So I'm literally just pushing them against my knees in order to help me lengthen my body and focus on stretching out those hips and that lower back. Bring it back up. Just take it a little bit back a bit. And we're going to just go around, bigger circle, take your time, a little bit further. And the other way. One more. Lean forwards. You might find you can go a little bit further this time as your body is warming up and getting used to the rhythm. Keep your back nice and flat, make it long. Stretching through your head. Pushing that bottom backwards. Pushing your chest forwards. Now bringing it up, we're going to take your leg out to the side. Use your cord, which was just lurking behind me. Keeping that back nice and flat. Just pull yourself down towards your toe. It's not again about being super flexible, it really is about just feeling the stretch in the hamstrings and I can feel it in my hip on this side. Make sure you breathe and on every out breath remember you're relaxing into that stretch. legs, bring one leg in, take the other leg out, use your cord, some of you may not need a cord, you'll be able to just place your hands around your feet, stretch out those hamstrings.
keep that stretch on, relax within each out breath. Now place the balls of your feet together, keep your body upright and bring your knees out to the side while bringing your toe, feet in towards your body. Keep your body upright and straight and just lean that whole body forwards till you're feeling the stretch inside your inner thigh. Give it a little bit of a rock from side to side. Feel the glutes relaxing and allowing those hips to just open up. more breaths, pulling yourself forward, feeling that stretch, discomfort, not pain, remember. This time what I want you to do is just cross one leg over the other. I want you to push on the leg that is in front and lean over in the opposite direction. This will open out that hip. And then swap in legs. Place your hand on the knee of the leg that is in front. Push it down and lean over. Bring it up and let's repeat. So a nice bit of force on that leg, pushing it down as we stretch away from it, as we lean. And change legs. back up. What I want you to do next is just get up onto your knees. So from here we're just going to try loosening off the muscles at the side as we slide from one side. We're stretching across here and then we go to the other. And repeat. And repeat. Keep your body upright, feel that stretch as you come through. We really are mobilizing this lower back and improving the ability of your hips to just work in unison with your body. Okay, so from here, take your knees out. What you're going to do is you're going to sit back to begin with and we're just going to take it forwards until you're on your elbows and rock back and bring it forward, keeping the feet on the floor. If your feet come up, you've gone a little bit too far. So just to the point where your feet feel like they want to come up and then just take it back. Feeling that stretch in the inner thighs. Take it forwards. And take it back. One more forwards. And 
and back sit into that's it fantastic So from here, we're gonna focus on stretching our glutes. So we're gonna get into what I call the Isle of Man position. So it's your legs, are one behind, one in front, and you're just gonna lean forwards over the leg that is in front, place your elbows on the floor. And as you concentrate and sink into it, you can feel the gluteal muscles stretching. This one's really good for the piriformis. To increase the stretch, take yourself around closer to your toes. And then over to the other side. That movement in itself is really good at opening out these legs. Okay, so we take it down. One side will always be better than the other. I can feel the stretch in this one straight away. And then to take it further if you need to, just take yourself across a little bit toward the toe. We just come back up. If you want to do a few more of those, that's absolutely fine. Cross your legs again. What I want to do now is just see if we've improved that flexibility of those hips and can we go a little bit further with our elbows on the floor. Yep, my elbows are now on the floor. They weren't to begin with. It's always nice to know that what you're doing is having an impact. In order to maintain that impact, you need to hold on to these stretches and do them regularly to improve that flexibility. Well, it's been great stretching with you today. Hope to stretch very, very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.